Hi, my name is Ethan Reeves. I'm the developer of Extemp Genie. And in this documentation video, we're going to be going over how to use the search features of Extemp Genie. Now, search is the absolute core of Extemp Genie. It's how you access the autofile database of tens of thousands of articles. And it's where you're gonna pull most of the articles that you use in the round. So let's go over how to access it. So right here, I'm on the Extemp Genie homepage. I've just opened up Extemp Genie. We can come up here to the toolbar and click on this little icon right here, search articles. So let's do that. And that brings us to this page. And right here, you have all of the options that you can use to search for articles in the Extemp Genie database. Now, the key thing to remember here with Extemp Genie is it's very probable that in the database of almost 200,000 potential articles, Extemp Genie has the article you're looking for. The key is using the search filters to tell Extemp Genie what exactly it is that you're looking for. So for right now, let's start doing some searching. First of all, though, let's look over the different features we've got. We can search for all of these words. That's going to be articles that include all of the words we type in there. Any of the words, none of these words. That's to exclude articles that include certain words. We can look for a specific phrase. We can search the entire database or just our team box. We can search the text of the article or the title. We can sort by relevance or newest articles. We can filter based on word count and we can filter based on date, publication, and we can diversify sources. So there's an awful lot of options here to go over, but it gets simpler once you jump in. So let's do a search. Let's say we're looking for articles about Qatar. Type in Qatar, come down here, click search. Searching, sorting, great. So we got 2,000 matches from 178,000 articles. So let's look at this. Scroll down, here we have a bunch of excellent, relevant, recent results. Most of them are about the uh, recent diplomatic row between Qatar and the other Gulf nations. So let's open some of these articles. The way you open an article is you come over here and you click on its title, and then the article opens in the sidebar. So let's open a couple more of these, and there you have them. To open the, and view the article, you click on it in the sidebar. And then to get back over to search, you click on the search icon in the toolbar. Great. So that's the basics of how you can open an article. Also, you can open a preview of the article, which is useful if you just want to scan through. You can also, the article that is selected has this uh, gray highlight over it, and you can hit the key P on your keyboard if you want to toggle a preview. That lets you look through them really quickly without having to use too much mouse movement. Okay, so that's the basics of how to search. Here's the thing, though. We've got an awful lot of results here. Let's say we want to narrow in on what we're really looking for. Well, it turns out that the entire Qatar diplomatic row issue happened only within the past week or so. So let's tell Extemp Genie we're just looking for articles within the past week. So we click on Articles from Start Date. And let's select June 1st. That's going to be just articles older than June 1st. Click Close. Click Search. Now we're down to 1,000 results. This is great. This is narrowing in on exactly the type of articles we want. If you look here, though, at the publications, they're not very diverse. We've got BBC, Al Jazeera, BBC... CNN, BBC, CNN, CNN, Al Jazeera, CNN, Associated Press. What if we want to look at some of the other 49 sources that Extemp Genie has to offer? Well, there's a way to do that. Oftentimes when you're giving a speech, you want to just get a wide diversity of sources. So usually when you input a search into Extemp Genie, it's going to give you the most relevant results. However, if you click this checkbox right here, rather than giving you the most relevant results overall, it's going to give you the most relevant results from each source individually and not repeat a source until every source has presented their best article matching your search criteria. So let's click search again. Great. If you look at this, we've got a much, much, much more diverse pool of articles. BBC, Al Jazeera, CNN, Jerusalem Post, Fox, The Atlantic Council, Council, Christian Science Monitor, Washington Post, All Africa, The Rand Corporation, The Atlantic, The Guardian, Conversation, The Economist, The Diplomat, The Carnegie Mellon Institute for International Peace. We have an awful lot of really excellent articles from a wide, diverse variety of sources. However, we can get even more specific. So let's say that we just want to look for articles from a specific publication. We can do that with Select Publications. We click on this button right here. We got a list of all the publications that are available to select from. So let's say we just want to look for articles from, let's say, The Economist. We can click Toggle All, and then let's search up here for Economist. There we go. Now we've got just The Economist enabled. We can click Apply. Great. And we have two articles from The Economist within the past week about Qatar. Perfect. Um, let's disable this. So Toggle All, back to all the sources. Let's run that search again. Great. 
The last search option, which I think is really useful and undervalued is the word length filter. So that's right here. With this, you can select a minimum word length for articles. Oftentimes in extemporaneous, it's a problem where you have a bunch of small little news blurb articles. Where what you really want is the deep analysis articles. And you can get those by using the word count filter because articles that are over a thousand words are probably going to be more in depth on the topic. So let's filter down to over a thousand words and click search again. Perfect. Now we've just got 500 matches. All of these are good, long, in-depth articles from within the past week about Qatar. And that's about all there is to search. Of course, we've got these options up here, but most of those are pretty self-explanatory. And once again, the key thing with Extemp Genie searches is tell Extemp Genie what you're looking for. If you want more recent articles, apply a date filter. If you want longer articles, use the word count filter. If you want more diverse sources, click diversify sources. If you want a specific publication, just enable that specific publication. And Extemp Genie will do its best to give you the articles that you need for your speech. Thanks for watching.